and hopefully if gods are with me this will now work just my like magic there we go probably some of you know how to use generic types but it might be confusing for some of you to know how he actually implement generics in PHP. So, so if I were to do something like a collection object, obviously the first thing I would do is create this collection file on top. So let's create collection.php. This will be, you know, declare street types and then would have probably a namespace, which would be app collection for now. Then, then this will be a final read only plus collection. This collection would have a constructor, obviously, using property promotion, just like that. The property promotion would have a private array with items, the public function all, which will, which will return back my given uh, array items. I should be able to run PHP, PHP index.php, and I can see all of the names. So here I have Rudizio, Marco, Vieira, and John. Let's do something like, like the following. Let's uppercase every single one of them, type something like for each, of those names let's echo those names but let's lowercase those, those names first okay so cleaning the terminal running php index is indeed working as expected however php stand should just complain the hell up so php stand is literally complaining about three problems at the moment okay the first one is saying that the construct method within my app collection object doesn't have any any type of uh, you know, specify a type. So here I'm saying I'm accepting an array, but I'm not specifying which type of array I'm, I'm receiving. So let's start simple on this. Let's type something like, you know, the type of array I'm receiving can be, you know, an integer potentially with mixed, you know, and you guys are going to understand what is the problem with mixed real quick. <laughs> I have two problems now. The main one being that the parameter one on the index.php line 14 expects a string but mix is given okay so php stand was not able to infer that this is literally an array of strings you know this is not an array of strings and he's not able to infer that string to lower was even working as expected because this is literally mixed he doesn't know how to do or how to deal with that you know what i mean so how can we say to collect to the collection class that the given items is a string so we could obviously hard code this right here the problem about doing this, if I art code this right here, the problem is that if I were to have a collection of something else, like collection of integers or a collection of objects or a collection of whatever, this hard coded string wouldn't work anymore. Okay? So this is clearly this is clearly a sign that this needs to be a generic class. Okay? So to work with generics, what we can do is the following. I'm going to go all the way top and I'm going to say the following. This class has a generic type this will be template t t item okay typically some people do just t i typically like to say okay this is a type of the item i like to suffix my generic type by saying what this type is about what do you guys think personally would you use t or you would you use t item for those of you who have worked already with with generics i typically use t item and then i would use this generic type right here Okay, so I'm saying the following. The arrays variable will contain whatever the T item you are providing. If you are providing an integer, great, my T item will be an integer. If you are providing a string, great, my T item will be a string. Okay, now here the magic comes. I'm going to go all the way down to this all method. And now that I know what exactly is in, within my array, I can specify that to PHP stand. So I'm going to type the following. The return type of this all method will be still an integer as a key, but the return type as a value of the values within that array, they are going all to be a T item. Whatever the T item to provide me on the constructor, it will be the same item being returned on the all. And magically, and hopefully, if gods are with me, this will now work just my like magic. There we go. I just love this, man. I, I, I'm, I, I love this. I love this kind of stuff, man. I get so pumped up about this. I apologize in advance, man. Oh, my God. <laughs>
the coffee is saying but if that collection would have int in four strings would still fail or pass it would still fail it would just tell you that uh, the m string to lower would not work with the integer will actually do its job you know what i mean so if i were to actually let's see that real quick i'm going to go here and provide one okay so i have one integer as a value but then i have four strings if i were to run this see how magical php 10 is it's literally complaining that oh your code may actually not work because you are calling a string to lower on something that may actually be an, in an integer you know that's why it's not working as expected you know what i mean but when you work with different languages, you will see something kind of common between all of them is that some people use literally this, the T, template key, and template uh, K. You know, they use like one letter things for t for generics. I want to I want to ask you these guys personally, like, what do you guys feel it's better? Would you feel like something like template key and template uh, kappa like this? Do you prefer this? Like this? Or would you prefer something like this? T item or type of item, type of key. This is a type of key. I, 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 I personally love so much to see this, okay?